Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your long sleeve dress shirt into a short sleeve. And if you uh, get all the marks down correctly, it's a really quick, easy alteration. So most shirts, um, short sleeve shirts, are anywhere from 10 to maybe 12 inches in length, depending on the size. So for you, I would just put the shirt on, chalk mark where you want it, and that will be your new hemline, and then you add the other marks to make this go really quickly and easily. So normally I would have a smaller square, but when I was moving stuff around, <clears throat> I misplaced it and I don't know where it's at. So we're going to use the big one. So in order to get this to be uh, a 90 degree angle, um, you're going to align the ruler with the top fold of the fabric here because that's the the center of your sleeve when it's being uh, cut out. So we know that's going to be a straight line whereas this is not. And as you can see it's straight there and it follows this one line here. So this is going to be your new hemline. So mark that, flip it up, and mark the back. Now I'm going to go for a smaller ruler. Now I am going to do a one inch um, hem. So I can mark it here. Let's just do it like this. And then mark the back. And then we're going to do another half inch. And this is the part you're going to go, you're going to fold under when you hem it. So mark it here and mark the back. Now this is where we're going to cut the sleeve on this last line. So you have your new hem line your fold line and your cut line. Now, before you throw this away, be sure to harvest your buttons. Take those off and put them in your stash. So <clears throat> if at any time you need another button, you have one. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, how to avoid this little issue we're gonna encounter in here. So it'll be an inch and a half. So if I fold this here, and this side lines up, and this side does not line up. You can see right here, this is what it looks like. You see there's a difference in width from the folded part and the regular shirt. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. fold line is here and this stitching line you can't see it from there and it's kind of hard to to show you while I'm here but um, while I'm down here there's a stitching line right here and you're going to need to make a line on the shirt where that stitching line ends because you now you're going to take this stitching line and you're going to it's going to go back and blend here and come out to this point so that there's no extra fabric you're trying to fit into the new hem. Does that make sense? I think getting my words right is the hardest part of doing this job, explaining myself. Okay, so there's my mark right here and it comes out about a half an inch. So we're gonna take the ruler at that half inch mark and we're going to go back and we're going to blend it to the stitching under the arm. And then we're going to come out to the original stitching line here. Because this has to be the same distance from the folded edge as this is. It has to be the same because we're folding it up like this. So once you get this mark in here, it's kind of hard to see because it's white. 
I think you can see how it comes here and then just goes straight out to that original seam. And that's going to make uh, it look really nice and um, stitch up very easily. Okay, the first step we're going to do is take the uh, take it to the machine and sew along this white line and blend it back in here. Okay, and there you have it. Now at this point, you can um, cut this off or serge it off, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fold it and then this can fold over. So this is what it looks like, and this is how I start it. I align the seams, and then fold on this chalk mark, fold on this chalk mark, put it under there, and I can keep it, um, I can get folding it as I go through. And that's what's nice about having the chalk marks is that um, you don't have to guess if you're on track. You just see the chalk mark and you trust your marks because you know what you're doing. That's it, and take it to your ironing board and press it out. All right, and there is the finished shirt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you, bye. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. This is where the instructions end, so um, if you would like, you can just go off the video now. But if you would like to see some of my past work, just go ahead and let the video continue playing. And I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to share. Thanks. Bye.